Hi, it's Tess and I'm here today with a project. I'm not sure if this is going to be one complete video or I'm going to have to edit, which I hate doing. But we're going to try this and see how it goes. I have a Foxy Fix Fill Note Size um, little traveler's notebook that I absolutely love. However, it's always, this is how thick I had it. I never used it. I just put it away. I always wanted to keep it in my... Um, purse and I just never did. This is Yellow Paper House week on one page. I never used these. Like I tried to use it but I didn't like it. Then in here, in this one, this is a field note size. I got these in a three pack from Amazon. I was just writing down quotes that I liked when I saw them. But that was making it fat and thick and I didn't like that either. And all I really need this for is to jot down some notes and to carry like business cards and stuff in. So I have this plain one here that I just put on some washi tape. This is gonna be for notes. This was black, I just put some scrapbooking paper on it. And then I had this in here, which is a, can't get it out like a little business card holder with a little zipper pouch. I'm going to dismantle all this, take all this crap out that I don't use. And we're gonna start with this clean traveler's notebook. And I'm gonna have three inserts, a notes, a place to put business cards and receipts, and a little baby monthly calendar. So what we need is a roller. The size of this is three by five by 5.5. And I got my inserts that are printables from Indian Ink on Etsy. You'll need a needle, an awl, any kind of string that you like. I'm going to use this baker's twine. And a paper trimmer and your inserts. So the first thing I'm going to do with these is cut them in half. They need to be 7 inches in length. Or I'm sorry, 5. Oops. 5.5 inches tall. So we're going to do that first. Can you see what I'm doing? Oh, this is the one that measures good. Okay, let's measure it this way. I'm just going to put pencil marks on it. Let me grab a pencil. The way this measures is annoying, so... I don't want to screw it up, so I'm going to do it this way. <laughs> um, okay, we're going to make this five and a quarter inches. Or I'm sorry. Okay. All right. I was trying to decide where to where to cut. I'm going to cut where I put these lines at. So line it up. Then we're just going to cut. I need to change my blade. Did I get them all? No. Okay. All right. Uh, all but one. Okay. All right. So after we do that, let's see here. I'm going to take the first page, which is the monthly calendar title page with the back. I'm going to fold it in half. And then you're going to do each sheet like that. And you're going to fold each sheet in half. I do all my inserts individually. When I make them and I make the pages for them, I always fold each one individually. And you can even use a bone folder if you have one, which I do. I just didn't get it out for this project. 
because if you fold them individually, you'll get a crisper fold instead of trying to fold them all at once. It'll be neater. And then what you're going to do is lay these all inside of each other, tap them down pretty hard, okay, like that. Make sure they're all even. And then we're going to trim up everything. And I'm not going to do this on camera because it's, it's kind of dangerous. <laughs> I always use a rotary tool like this. And my huge, I have a uh, huge mat for sewing that looks like this. It's this ginormous, you know, sewing thing. Which I can't show because it's so big. But that's what I use my rotary tool on. Or you could just use your paper trimmer and just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until it cuts it ever, everything off. So I'm going to fold all these and then I'll be back. Okay, I am back and I have my little booklet all cut. I ended up using this setup instead of my paper cutter and here's all my scraps. So let's clear this up and I'll show you exactly what I did. The page was bigger and I'll show you with this. So it had to be three by five, right? So I just measured three and a half by five and a half. I'm sorry. So I just measured over three and a half at the top and then we have five and a half. So we're just going to measure over to make it three and a half, which we got it right there. So then all you do is you take this big board and you line it up like this and you take your rotary cutter and you keep your fingers way back and you cut it just like this. And I'm just using this as a demonstration since I already cut the darn thing. I did it off camera. And then you line this up and you cut again and that makes your booklet the right size. And you can do this for any size booklet. Your Any traveler's notebook you want to make, this is the only method you have to use. I'll throw that stuff away. So now you have your booklet. And I always use a binder clip to hold it all together. And we are going to sew it. So I'm just going to I already have this here. So I might as well let it I wonder why I never film on this. Okay. So we have the booklet. And it looks just like these booklets now. You can round the corners if you want. I will probably do that later. Let me zoom in. All right. Now we're going to get out the awl, which is very, very, very sharp. And we are going to punch these. Punch holes in these. And you can either... So I'm going to clip both sides. I need another binder clip. Um, this will work. Okay, so we're going to pierce the paper in the center. A lot of times, I will just use staples. And actually, I'll show you how to do that too, because it's so easy. Like once you see that method, you're going to want to do it that way. If I can find my eraser. That's why I wasn't doing it that way to begin with. I don't know where my eraser is. Usually it's in here with all my other junk. For whatever reason, I am not seeing it. But I will show you how to do it, even though I don't have my pink eraser. Because you need a pink eraser to do it that way. If you're going to staple it, all you have to do is take a regular stapler like this, any old stapler will work, and open it up so it's open. Then you take your booklet, lay it face down like this, pretend, pretend this is your pink eraser, lay that pink eraser underneath, and then you just pop, pop, ah, pop, 
and then you'll take a pencil and you'll push the staples over so they're closed. But since we are not using a stapler today, because I can't find my eraser, we are using an awl. And in order to do that, you line, make sure your booklet's lined up, and we're going to pierce the center and just push it through. You need three holes. Probably made that one a little bigger than I had to, but that's okay. You don't want to open up the book too far. Your hole will be too big. I made that way too big. Okay. And then... Try to keep your papers lined up. That's the hardest part. That's why I prefer the staple method. Because... I think it's easier to keep your paper lined up that way. All right, now we have three holes. Yes, the big one's too big, but that's okay. Now we are going to thread our needle with our string. I'm using baker's twine, but literally can use any kind of yarn you would like. And thread your needle. And you're not going to thread it like when you sew, where you double it completely, because you don't want it doubled. Okay, so you're just going to put it in a little way. So we're going to go in through the center, and you're going to let enough that you can tie a knot. Let me zoom out just a hair. I'm in too close. So, and we're going to go down then back through the center then up through the other side and then we're just going to tie it off in a knot like this and as I said this can be used for any size traveler's notebook. And I'm going to just kind of uh, put my finger there. Okay. Ugh. Let's tie it two more times. One. One's enough. Okay. So let's trim this off. Take off the clip, and there's your little booklet. So I made that hole way too big, but that's okay. No big deal. It won't it won't rip or anything. Now I'm gonna have a much, and I'm gonna take out these out of here because I don't need all this crap with me. And I'm just taking notes. So I'll take out all that. Take out these. I want it for business cards and stuff like that and receipts not stickers and doodads but I think let's see what I had in here you want to see what I had in here just a card that says this is your day some washi had a whole bunch of that some washi samples some stickers I think I'm going to put these things back in here I'm going to put in the Happy Mail, because sometimes I have my wallet when I check them out. A little bit of this and these washi samples. Those, those can stay in with this little card that says today is your day. I'm going to take all the other stuff out. And then push this out of the way. Grab our three things that are now going in to our traveler's notebook which is going to be the monthly calendar. And I'm going to put that in the front. It's going to go in its own string. And then we're going to use a rubber band. Any old rubber band will do, as long as it's bigger. And we're going to attach these two things together. So there's the rubber band inside the book. I just slipped it around. And then this is going to slide on the other side of that rubber band. So you have two things. 
this is going to slide in behind this string like this. And actually, I'm going to change this, I think. I'm going to spin it around so that that's in the center. And there we have it. Now that's nice and thin. I can carry it in my wallet. There's not going to be any weight or thickness to it like it was so thick before. So we're going to open it up. I have my monthly view calendar, which is awesome, undated, a whole bunch. My business card holder, which has paper trimmings all over it, and a notebook. And that's all I need. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I will see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.